from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. Greg will have your full forecast coming up. But first, though, I want to get your ABC Action News headlines. A man is accused of crashing his truck into a van before deputies ended up shooting and killing him. We're now checking on the driver who was hurt in the middle of all this innocent driver. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's tells us it all started when this man, Dylan Scott, was spotted in Riverview last night. He was wanted for felonies. They say he sped off hitting that van with the driver inside. Deputies got a woman safely out of Scott's truck. And then they tried to get him to surrender. They say he reached for a gun, so at least four deputies fired back. Scott died at the hospital. The sheriff says they were working to release the body camera video of the shooting. Four deputies now on administrative leave, but that's standard for investigations like this one. A new COVID-19 test site at William Owen Pass Sports Complex is open now for appointments in Dover. We've seen demand for testing increase steadily over the past month in Hillsborough County. We've seen some testing sites have to close early, all because of long lines. We've added this new site to our interactive map in the coronavirus section of abcactionnews.com so you can easily make an appointment. Tests are free at the sports complex, but bring your health insurance card if you have one, along with a photo ID for your appointment. And if Dover isn't close to you, this map lists all the testing sites in our community so you can find one that's convenient for you and your family. Meanwhile, UK regulators have had two reports of allergic reactions from people who took part in the first day of COVID-19 vaccinations, including a Pfizer's version. They're now saying people with a history of serious allergic reactions should not get the shot. This comes as the FDA is set to meet tomorrow to determine if that same vaccine will get emergency authorization in the U.S. If that happens, we've been told that shipments could arrive at Tampa General Hospital as early as Tuesday, December 15th. The FDA also scheduled to meet on December 17th to potentially grant Moderna's vaccine authorization as well. We'll update you through our ABC Action News mobile app. Pasco County Commissioners just approved a development deal with the bank that's expected to create 875 new jobs. The Pasco Economic Development Council put together a deal with Santander Consumer USA. It'll take over the space on State Road 54 near the Suncoast Parkway at the old Super Target location. The EDC says Santander would invest at least $12 million in upgrading the building. The company is hoping to recruit bilingual employees. Santander's parent company is based in Spain. The county is expected to give them about $2 million in tax incentives. Pest control companies expect an uptick in business this holiday season. Those cardboard packages left on your doorstep, they're basically an invitation for bugs and critters to come on inside your house. To prevent unwanted guests, pest control experts say do a quick inspection of your box. Look for gnaw marks, and droppings, and open packages outside. Uh, there, if you see any droppings or other clues that there were insects inside, you may want to take precautions. They say don't let cardboard pile up inside your house either. If you think you have an infestation, get a pest control expert expert out to take care of it. A group of Pinellas County Elementary School students is hoping to bring some smiles to some kids who really need it. The students targeted for Education Performance Club or STEP at Blanton Elementary. They're making Christmas cards for kids too sick to spend the holidays at home. They'll go to patients at Shriners Hospitals for Children. Love that idea. I want to check in now with Greg D for a look at our very chilly forecast on this Wednesday. A very chilly forecast, and although today will be milder than yesterday, Dia, it's still really cool by our standards. Chilly, uh, I bet for many of you. Temperatures only in the mid-60s. Normal high temperature is 73, so we are about 10 degrees below that today. Uh, temperatures then this evening after 5 o'clock quickly dip back into the 50s, so the jacket that you had on this morning... Hang on to it for much of the day. You'll definitely need it by later on tonight. There is great news, though. 70s and maybe even near 80 degree temperatures in the seven day forecast. Check it out right now in the weather section of the ABC Action News app. Dia. Thank you, Greg. You can now get news 24 hours a day on our free streaming news channel. Just download the ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV and Apple TV.